Battle Through the Heavens Chapter 16, Xiao Ning Seeing the young man slowly coming over, Xiao Mei and her group slowed to a halt. Their previous laughter had also died out. The young girls by Xiao Mei's side widened their eyes while looking at the young man that was once the clan's pride. The expressions on their faces were varied, from sympathy to something else. Xiao Mei stopped in place. In her mind, she still felt attached and wanted to chat with the young man that had once captured her heart. But, reality told her that the difference between the two of them was too large for them to be together and wasting time on a cripple isn't exactly smart. Her brows furrowed before relaxing, in Xiao Mei's mind she thought, let's say hi, no matter what, he's still my Biao Ge. Ignorant to Xiao Mei's thoughts, Xiao Yan still had his hands behind his head and was lazily walking over. Watching the ever closer Xiao Yan, a smile appeared on Xiao Mei's face, but the actions of the young man froze the smile on her small face, making it seem as if she was making a weird face. With both hands behind his head, Xiao Yan ignored the group and looked straight as he walked past the young girls without any hesitation. Opening her red, small mouth at the young man's shadow, Xiao Mei was shocked. With her beauty, when has she ever had such horrible treatment? She felt a fit of embarrassed anger and couldn't help but yell, Xiao Yan cousin. Stopping, Xiao Yan didn't turn around, and his bland tone was emotionless as if he was talking to a stranger, what? The emotionless and bland voice stunned Xiao Mei, and she whispered, nothing. Xiao Yan's brows jumped, but he shook his head and started walking forward again. Watching the disappearing shadow, Xiao Mei angrily stomped her feet and went on to a different path. Rounding a turn, Xiao Yan looked up to a spacious room. On the plaque of the room were three flamboyant and blood-red words, Do Technique Hall. Hearing the yells within the Do Technique Hall, Xiao Yan was quite surprised. Normally, no one came to the hall, so why was it so noisy today? Shrugging his shoulders, Xiao Yan stepped forward and entered the Do Technique Hall. Once Xiao Yan went inside the hall, quite a few cheers from other clan members greeted him. The Do Technique Hall was split into an east and west section. In the east section were the clan's Do Techniques while the west section was a large training field. Right now, there were quite a few people gathered around the training field and watching two people in the middle of the field. Looking at the density of Xiao Ning cousin Do Qi, is he at 8 Tuan Qi? He he, just two months ago, Xiao Ning cousin got to 8 Duan Do Qi. But even though he has 8 Duan Do Qi, Xun Er cousin has 9 Duan Do Qi. Xiao Ning cousin doesn't have a high chance of winning. Good luck Xun Er cousin. Hearing the voices from the crowd, Xiao Yan paused his footsteps and glanced around at the training field. Finally, his interested gaze landed on the young girl wearing a light purple dress. How does she have the time to fight with others? Xiao Yan thought in his mind before going to the east side of the hall and taking a random black scroll from a shelf. Opening up the scroll, large yellow words appeared. Middle yellow, shattering rock hand. Lazily leaning on the bookshelf, Xiao Yan read the training methods to the shattering rock hand while occasionally glancing at the ferocious battle in the training field. The spacious hall seemed to be separated into two worlds. The west side was noisy, while the east side was peaceful and calm. Shun Er's opponent was a young man at about the age of 17 to 18. He was quite handsome and similar to Jia Lei Ao who Xiao Yan had seen the other day. The young man was called Xiao Ning and was the top elder's grandson. Even though he was only 17, he had already had gotten to 8 Duan Qi, and in the entire clan, only Shun Er was better than him. Xiao Yan had a neutral impression of this cousin. They only occasionally met and always said customary greetings before hurrying off. Maybe it was because of the unfriendly atmosphere between his father and the top elder, but Xiao Yan was always able to feel animosity emanating from him. But while Xiao Yan was crippled, he had never gone out of his way to taunt or tease Xiao Yan. Lightly smiling, Xiao Yan discarded his thoughts and went back to studying the shattering rock hand. On the training field, Shun Er was like a light purple butterfly that avoided the swift attacks by Xiao Ning, gracefully and elegantly. However, on her delicate face, no emotions such as weariness or the like surfaced. After blocking another one of Xiao Ning's attacks, Shun Er's gaze lazily swept across the hall, but suddenly her movement stopped. Seeing the absorbed young man in the east side of the hall, a light and elegant smile floated onto Shun Er's face. The girl's sudden smile made the spectators stunned at the beauty of Shun Er. Shunur Biao Mei, watch out! Right when Shunur was distracted, a young voice called out from within the crowd. Feeling the violent pressure coming from behind her, Shunur furrowed her brows, but her gaze stayed on the young man below the bookshelf. At the same time, Xiao Yan had lifted his head and seeing the sneak attack directed at Shunur, 
He furrowed his brows and shook his head. His look revealed a restrained worry. Seeing the worried look on Xiao Yan's face, Shunar mischievously blinked her beautiful eyes. Suddenly, she took a small step toward the left. Even though it was just a step, it strangely helped her dodge all of Xiao Ning's attacks. While she was dodging, her clear white hand sparkled gold and went straight between Xiao Ning's hands and lightly landed on his chest. Turning around in a circle, Shunar gracefully counteracted the force while Xiao Ning had to step back a dozen steps and out of the training field. To be able to defeat Xiao Ning with one attack, the spectators all gave thunderous applause to Xiao Shun. He he, Shunar Biao Mei is really at the top in the younger generation of the clan. You're really strong. Even though Xiao Ning had just been defeated by Shunar, he had a smile as he walked back to the middle of the training field. Calmly looking at the girl in front of him, the fervent love in Xiao Ning's eyes wasn't hidden at all. Even though they were technically Biao Ge slash Mei, Xiao Ning knew that in the entire clan, many of the members didn't have close blood relations and for Xiao Shunar, he knew that she wasn't related by blood to him. As if she didn't feel the fervent gaze of Xiao Ning, Shunar respectfully shook her head and said, Xiao Ning Biao Ge let me win. After saying that, she didn't wait for a response from Xiao Ning and went straight to the eastern part of the hall with a big smile. Being the center of attention Shun Er's movements were detected by everyone, and following the intended path of Shunar, they found Xiao Yan. Even though Xiao Yan was now the center of attention to the previous spectators, Xiao Yan didn't look up and was absorbed in his own world. Please like and subscribe to our channel. The Light Novel English Narrator. For more videos like this.